from Blade Show 2022. Uh, we're with a new company. It's really exciting, Rosecraft. Uh, they even sponsored the pit, guys, so uh, that was very kind of them. Uh, we are here with Andy, and uh, we're going to take a look at some models. Uh, they're not even out yet, and this is some cool stuff, guys. I really think you're going to like it, and uh, hopefully I'll snag some to uh, get some up-close and personals later on. But let's go and take a look at these knives and uh, talk to the man. Well, Andy, I appreciate your time. No Thank problem you. at all. I really do. Um, like you said, we, this is our world debut. Yeah. Atlanta Blade Show is the first time Rose Graft Blades has hit the market. We're great. coming into the market with eight modern knives and four traditional knives. That's great. Uh, at present, everything is imported. Okay. We're actually building a manufacturing facility in Maryville, Tennessee. We hope great. to have that up and running in the next five years. And That's that fantastic. is the ultimate goal That's right great. here. That's great. Uh, this has been our crazy labor of love for the last 11 and a half months. Woo! Now, that doesn't sound like a long time. It's not a long time, and that's why my inventory is still in transit. These are post-production samples that I want to show you. Great. And uh, we have a nice price range running anywhere from like $31 all the way up to $80, but it's that friendly price range. That's great. That's a great price range. And I think you're going to hit a lot of stuff that's more budget-oriented right now and uh, that from other people, but this is going to bring something fresh, especially under that $50. Right because it feels like that's kind of stagnated a little bit. Right, well here's the thing, you know, this industry as a whole, the age is up here and it's going to need to move here if we want to continue it. The right. way we get new people in the game is say, hey, my neighbor's kid needs a knife. Maybe if I skip a couple of lunches this week, I could throw a $38, a $45 high quality knife at him and get him into the yeah. game or her, for sure for her, that's what I really want to do, but get them into the game and then we grow the market. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, let's go ahead and start at the top because this one I can't keep my eyes off of. Okay, so this is my baby. This is a Clinch River Swayback. If you're uh, just familiar with the Swayback pattern, it's a very traditional knife. It's 200 years old in its pattern. Originally wow. made as a loom knife. Now on a standard swayback, you may see this is a little different. You didn't have this little nib, and you definitely didn't have that hole. Yeah. So when I went in and designed this, I wanted to make sure that we got almost an inch of finger area so you can really get down on this knife. I've been yep. calling this the gentleman's utility knife because I think you, Absolutely. Had, you know all those evil Amazon boxes that keep opening up in the garage, you can take them out with that. D2 steel on the blade, brushed steel finish. Um, yeah. You have steel bolsters. I went with steel liners instead of brass, which is a little bit different in the market right now. Yeah. The shield is a rosebud for Rosecraft, and that's nickel silver with nickel silver pins. That's great. This knife has half stops, so you're going to get some heavy walk and talk. Boom, right there. I put this knife at about a seven or an eight pull. Okay. So that's cool. You also get a stop pin here so that you're not going to get blade wrap with that blade slamming into yep. the channel. Yep, great, great. Um, I was going to ask. I love this knife, $46.99. That's great. $46.99. Um, and then what did you do for your uh, Oh, I should have said that. That's, we, we use natural materials in the, in the covers. This is genuine bone, but we are calling this bourbon bone. So that is dyed so like if you were to hold up a glass of whiskey to the light for bourbon, there it is, that golden color. And I'm, I'm hoping you're going to just do a gamut of different sides on that. We're going to try to do a lot of different things at, as these, it's really going to be here to the people out there. So if they like this knife, you may see this knife come back as McCarta. You may see this knife come back as whatever. Yeah. Uh, we, are, we have a tendency to lean towards what has, GEC has proven to be a great model, which is let's release a knife that's good. If the people like it, let's do it different ways. Yep. We're not the old school model where here's a handle material, we're going to do 50 different patterns in it. Yeah. yeah. That's why there are only four of these traditionals in the initial lineup. Makes sense to me. Uh, well, let's drop down to the Chonky Boy. Okay. <laughs> this, this is the little chonk. It resembles its name. It is. D2, almost three millimeters in that worn cliff. You're talking about <laughs> aluminum handles on this version with the red liners, with the anodized pivot. It's one of those knives that is just fun. Ceramic ball bearings in that knife. So the action's great. You hear Kicks. that click and that lock yeah. up. It is just a fun knife. But again, this is going to be a utility knife that you can use. Yes. Right? You can get on this thing. You can push cut so easily yeah. with yeah. this kind of thing. And it's just fun. And you're talking about at this price point of... See, I should learn my prices, shouldn't I? Ah, you're fine. 
$58.99 on that knife. Yeah. Comes yeah. in this aluminum, then we have two G10 versions. All great, of great. them are $58.99. Great. And I will tell you just a plain fact about our knives. I'm going to grab the next one. You may Please. try that one on camera if you want to, but I like I, about two thirds of the time I sit here doing this with knives. Maybe a third of the time I cut with it. So it's true. I like a fidget for the knife. You feel how well that's balanced. The ceramic yep. ball bearings just completely. They move. feel nice. Yeah, they feel real nice. So on the same end as wanting to do some budget knives. Uh, we have three knives that really fall into a very uh, budget-friendly area. They do not lack the quality of anything that is in the rest of the line, but this is a D2 blade, a harpoon-style blade with a dark stone wash finish, ambidextrous thumb studs, steel ceramic ball bearings, Marcarta handle steel liners, and you know, tip-up pocket clip, ambidextrous, you move to either side. And this knife literally comes in. There's the bar right there. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ARP and steel on. 34 bucks. That's great. That's great. I have three on the table that all fall in range. One is a little bit less than that. Feel free. Play with it. Well, and I feel like in the 30-ish knife range, it's been an Ontario rat for... 100%. How, for so many years. And everything else around there feels okay, but nothing really sparks interest. Right. And... Whereas this, I mean, you're actually getting an interesting blade. It's actually comfortable in hand. Right. It's actually contoured. It's not just flat, you know, plastic handles like you get with a rat. It's finally something different in that price. Right. And I think that's going to be really exciting for someone to have an option that isn't just the same, you know, just flat style. Absolutely. Something, something that's interesting but can do conversations but can still put in work. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I want people to come into the market at this price. You know, Absolutely. Buy that knife, graduate up some. Maybe a couple of years from now you're carrying a hitter. Who cares at that point? I've got you in the market and we are going to grow the market that way. That's great. Uh, this is by in-house designer Hawkins Rose who is sitting beside me, as is this knife. Uh, the traditional is mine. This is a young lady named Swags who you might know about. She has worked with CJRB and Kaiser. She used to be my old buddy on a show a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the Pocket Monster. Uh, we have it in three different flavors. We have the Halloween version you see in front of this black PVD on AR RPM 9 uh, with the orange anodized pivot and thumb studs. This is another liner lock, G10 handles. This knife, to me, is the perfect pocket utility knife and the action is incredible. It yeah. is the only knife I have here that is going to be slightly different when we get them in at the end of July. I had them put jimping on this front flipper just to Great. make it slightly easier to make that. Fair enough. Happen, right? The one I do want to show you in this is the other flavor is this right here. If you know your Monster Zinc, do you know what monster that is? Sully. Yeah. Those are Sully colors. Swags put that touch on it. All of us at the table were like, oh, no people won't get that. Everybody who I've watched and loves Monster Inks, Monsters Inc. guesses Sully every time. So you got That's Sully's great. colors on that. They're also Miami Vice colors. Are they? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. A little Crockett and Tibbs going on? Yeah, man. Nice. Um, those are $53.99. Great. Yeah. Very good steal on that. The other knife I have on the table to show you, I want to show you because to me it is the best fidget friendly knife. We'll, we'll get down here first. This is another Swags design. She worked at a bar for a little while. She hated the pairing knives that were behind the bar. She said, let's make a folding pairing knife that has useful tools for the bar. Let's make it affordable, make it slender. You can ride in any pocket you've got on you. Uh, this is AR RPM 9 with a star stone wash finish. G10 handles that clean up super easy. Steel liners, liner lock. And then on the back end here with the knife closed, you've got a pry that works. You've got a cap lifter that works, and if you're in an emergency situation and happen to have your hex bit driver with you, it should slip inside there and let you turn a screw or two if you needed to. Nice. Here's the nice. thing about this knife that I love. So, you have swags come to me on paper. She shows me what she wants. We work it out together. Yeah, yeah. I design it to spec in the system, and we send it off for our sample. And there are only some things that you can get in the moment that it comes back, and it's that right there. That is manual. That is absolutely not a spring. That is balanced perfectly as she walks up to us right there. Come on around here. We're still going. But those knives are fantastic in yeah. their action. To me, that is the most fidget-friendly thing in the world. Yeah. 
It, it's really exciting. I'm loving the prices. I like the variation in designs. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel stagnant across Thank the you. line. Uh, for me, when Civivi came out, it all of it looked kind of the same. It was the same handle, slightly narrow, slightly taller, and that was it. Right. Um, and it's taken them four years to come out with any variety at all, it feels like, right. whereas this is starting there. So I think that the, what helps us get there is we have a team of four in-house designers. All yeah. of us are highly opinionated. All of us. Oh, all, don't look at me, that's you. <laughs> highly opinionated, absolutely. All of us have our own take on knives, and when you get that in the same room, you get variation. Yeah. Right, and so it's while great. one person likes, somebody else doesn't like, but we keep going with it. Yeah. I will say definitely, every person, while opinionated, we all have the same end goal. You know, we want quality, we want care into the knives, and that goes from customers. We want customers taking care of, but also yeah. every knife you pick up, everything down to every single detail has been looked at, felt, and thought about. Did you tell them about the copper version of this I, one? I told them off air. Did I say that on air? No. I will, oh my I will gosh. Say that. So. When we started looking at handle materials to put in this little chunk, one of the things we wanted to look at was a copper handle. It was beautiful when it came oh, in. it was amazing. But that knife would literally take your pants off when you put it in your pocket. It was <laughs> nearly a pound. And, you know, a lot of people do want to say, oh, we'll still do the copper because the patina is so pretty. But, like I said, care goes into every bit of that knife. And so you want to cut down the weight on it so you have a little more ergos to it. Um, yeah. But yeah, I will stop say... Flipping it, can you? I'm yeah. telling you, that's what they're there. They're great. We love that balance. We love that movement. Uh, again, two thirds of the fun of a knife isn't cutting, it's playing. Yep. And have a little bit of everything is really nice. Yes. Um, yeah. Really excited. Really excited for the future. Thank you the for coming future. by. Yeah, you coming absolutely. By. Hope you guys are having a good show. We are. Let me say this about our inventory. Go to rosecraftblades.com right now. Okay. If you go there, everything's on the site. Our inventory is on the water. It should arrive by the end of July. Cross your fingers, hope the boat doesn't crash, any of that kind of stuff. But if you like something you saw or you see something else you like, every single product has a notify me button. If you hit Great. notify me, drop in your email, we'll send a notice to you as soon as it's in inventory. Fantastic. Excellent. Well, I really appreciate it. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you.